The following podcast has been brought to you by Audible.com. Sign up now using the URL audibletrial.com forward slash TTV to get a free audiobook of your choosing. We recommend Brick by Brick, how Lego rewrote the rules of innovation and conquered the global toy industry. You may recognize this as one of the sources we use in our show, Bionicle Autopsy. Remember, that's audibletrial.com forward slash TTV. Enjoy the show. Five, four, three, two, one, sink. Hello and welcome, one and all. I'm Venom. I'm Messiac. I'm Bar. I'm LJ. And I'm Kahi. And this is TTV Talks. Hey. I forgot you were in this call for a second there, Meso. It's all right. I yeah, everybody in. forgets about Meso. Yeah, Meso's not the most from, like memorable person. I know? blend in into the background. People You're say really that you bland. and I sound a alike chameleon. a lot. You're like the vanilla. You're like stale bread. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder bread. Uh, no, not Wonder Bread because it's good. Meso is like is bread good? and I'm better bread because for some reason people better. think that we sound it's alike. Better, it's better than Meso. Ugh. Meso's not good. He's bad in every aspect. I'm good at video games. You're good at not no, you're being good, good at, at video games. You're like Kaki. You're good at taking other people's kills. I I reject this assertion. You're not good uh, at video games. That one v one that we had. I, I'm just saying that one v one was. Uh, I don't know how we, I could take your kills. <laughs> oh, we got you there. Yeah, I still oh. won Kahi with you. Sneaking around. No, the no, map. no. I mean, listen. I'm not saying that you aren't better than I am. I'm just saying that it was really close, and I can't steal any of my kills from you. So. I'm just saying. You want to go again? You want to fight again? We can go again. Let's go again. It was to five six. Fair, I was with... wondering. Wow. So we have like, the gauntlet has been thrown on. The gauntlet has been thrown. Wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. Did you win with six? No, I LD one of six. Oh, uh, okay. That was close though. I yeah, it was. Yeah, LJ and I had a one v one, and it was fourteen to twelve with him also winning. Wow. To be fair, with Halo 5, it seems like uh, the kill stealing hasn't been as bad with you, Meso. In Halo 4, it was absolutely Yeah, no, in Halo 4, I, I, I could argue against that I, I, completely. I did not ever want to play with Meso. Ever. It's because in, really in Halo Meso. 4, I had too many abusable things I could use. Gosh, to, like, there were too many instinctual tactics, okay, yeah, like the there, bolt shot. There is that, but you were definitely just as bad when we played Halo 5 for a No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You're annoying. You were you're bad annoying. in that one custom game where we were all playing against each other. But yeah, so you're, far, you are such that. a creeper too. Every time I'm having <laughs> like some really cool fight with like Bar or whoever, you just come around the corner like hee 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 hee. It's and intelligent. You just steal kills. That's what all you, you do. That's what you got to do. In it to win it. You, you don't go big or go home. To do that, Meso. <laughs> you got to go big or go home. <laughs> Yeah, what, what am I going to do? Jerk what am I going to do? Stand it too. Stop yelling, there. Meso. You're yelling. You always yell. <laughs> am I going to be like, I'm going to stand politely around the corner and wait for you guys to finish? Stand politely so around the corner. Duel. I mean, it would be nice of you. I mean, well, to, to be fair, I, I think part of it's the spawning. The spawning in this game is kind of kind of broke. Yeah, especially you were talking Halo about free for all earlier. Yeah, free for all. Uh, we're talking about Halo Five. I mean, technically, Obviously. this was a free-for-all game we're talking about, though. This custom game that we were doing was all That's free-for-all. True. Yeah. yeah. We haven't even mentioned and, and the name of the like game, obviously. And we did, like, two or three of them all together. Halo 5 Guardians. We? Uh, we're talking about. So we, we've mentioned the name of the game several times. Yeah. Pay attention next time, yeah. Yeah. Don't focus on stealing kills all the time. <laughs> yeah, well, it, see, this this just goes to show you, Meso wasn't even listening to what we were saying. He just wanted to say his own thing. That that how, that is how Meso operates in every situation he's in. He does not care about his teammates at all. It's he is so self centered. When we were playing the campaign, God, we would play. Yeah, we would play campaign. I would die in front of Meso in his clear vision, <laughs> and he would just walk past me. I didn't see you. You did see me. There's no way you couldn't have seen me. I, I, I was I, I, in yeah, direct I that. line of sight with you. you. It's like instead of reviving you, you Meso just like kind of climbs over your body. Even if you didn't see me, the freaking icon, the freaking revive icon is on your HUD. Like you might it. as well have just like mounted a sniper over Var's dead shoulder. It's not even that you did. It, you <laughs> you had to have seen it and just ignored it. No, you swear. actively ignored it because I, it's I, on I, the screen regardless of where you're turning. I swear. I was Focused on Prometheans. It's an, I mean, I'm just I'm just imagining Var to revive your friends. It's just I, I'm just imagining that Meso like used you as cover. He didn't even realize. It <laughs> oh, I guarantee fun. it. He was just I like, guarantee oh, it. Meso is a God, jerk. Gotta go find cover. Hey, look at this rock here. I'm gonna just hide behind this. <laughs> this armored rock. 
yeah. and then Var in the background is like, Meso, help me. You're right next to me. And then Meso's like, hold on. I'm taking cover. <laughs> Gotta get my shields yeah. back. <laughs> You're Throughout the entire campaign me. experience, Meso, you were the most obnoxious teammate ever. Woo! As is usual, though. That's how it is in Halo 4 whenever we played. We still That's how, it is, here. Hey. That's how it is in Halo in general. I think... I think Meso has like fundamentally killed almost every. Halo Another annoying for me. aspect about you, which is it goes hand in hand with what this, is, is you lone Meso? wolf too much, mm. too much. There's too much about this is a team based game, arena four v four, and you are just running out and getting yourself killed and or taking kills. Listen, this you is You don't true. work with us at I, all. I work best, and I always have on the periphery of combat. Oh, I'm the support the guy. I'm the guy like I'm the guy like You're not supporting yeah. no, 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 no. anyone but the yourself. Only thing support. Is Meso support is supporting guy. his own kill count. He's the support guy. He's you're supporting his freaking kill count, going around like every, as soon as you get someone like past their shields, Meso will swoop in and be like, "Oh, boom, headshot! Ha <laughs> ha! Thanks, guys." Listen, if I <laughs> every kill I get is one more death that you don't have. Well, no, because bullet. usually that kill was, you know, going to be someone else's. <laughs> you just, you decided to wait for someone else to take out the guy's shields, Not and then I, you fired one shot to kill him. Team shooting, man. Support. <laughs> Man, that's not the, support. More, that's not more support than, when you don't help anyone kill the guy. You just take I the do. kill. I do do that. My, no, you don't. You are time. so full of crap. Just because I have a higher trigger you pull rate so than you. You are so full of crap. I can not fire more lead into this. You are so full of crap. You're instead an idiot. Of, I hate you. Instead of accepting how much of a jerk he is, Meso will be like, no, you're the one with the problem. I mean, you are. <laughs> I, I, I just, like imagine like Metsu getting like uh, addicted to heroin or something. We had to have an <laughs> intervention. And we were like, no, no you're so. addicted to heroin. No, I, 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 you, you have guys to stop, fault that you guys you're aren't doing you're this good you life right, stop. right here. You have a problem. Yeah, you're the one with a problem. I don't have a you problem. You guys should be doing this good crap. Then you wouldn't have a problem. <laughs> oh. He's got, he literally has like crack on his nose. He's just, his face is covered in powder, and he's like, you have a problem. Yeah, it's uh. not my fault. You guys aren't addicted either. What a world. <laughs> no, but seriously, playing with Mesa is probably the worst experience with any Halo game ever. To that to that degree, though, Halo 5 multiplayer is frustrating. Really, it's really hard. frustrating. In, in general, it's really hard. Yeah, yeah it's, I would very say it's very frustrating. Like, I thought Halo 4 feeling. was difficult. This takes it to 10. The no, I didn't think Halo 4 was difficult. I, thought, I actually thought Halo 4 was fairly easy. Yeah, Halo 4 was easy. Yeah. It was. I had to but this game takes speed to a whole nother level. <laughs> this game, like, the learning curve is really, really high up there. Because, I don't know, this seems like the hardest Halo to actually get into and be good at. Because there are so many people that are good at it. They <laughs> really they really took out all the BS stuff that you could abuse in this game. It's r complete even playing field. And it's really hard to get kills. That if you're not said... Good. It's it plays really um very I, I don't know solidly that's not even an adjective but it, it has some pretty solid gameplay you know like you said yeah. it's pr fairly well balanced but there are still some problems like spawning oh we, we were just talking about radar like a couple of minutes oh, ago radar the ra uh, okay the radar we, uh, the radar worst part, <clears throat> worst part. Halo goes from being if we're going to be talking about ranking here and we're rating a game, for example, say that uh, every game starts out with a 10 when you rate it. And then as you see problems, you deduct points. Halo gets a full negative point. Full, <laughs> you, you went from 10 to 9 because of that radar. You right. you screwed it. Right. That radar is completely, utterly nothing but junk. It's garbage. It's worse than the Destiny radar. You see, and, yes. and that's saying something. <laughs> Destiny radar is Destiny that radar trash. Is it's something no, to have radar and have it work. It's something to not have radar. It's another thing right. entirely to have radar that you expect to look so you look the work so you look at it, but it doesn't work, so you rely on something that is going to fail you. Yes. Yeah, it's like I don't understand why 343 even included it. I just don't like if they were going to reduce it this much, they should have just taken it out because it doesn't it doesn't tell you it anything like, useful. It feels like they just took the feedback from the beta like, "Oh, we need to kind of shorten the the radius of the motion sensor for the people, and then they just didn't test it. Like right yeah, after, right. they just reduced the number down, and they didn't test I it. I mean, they're like, okay, that's good. Let's be honest. Probably work. Know, I I personally believe they did test it with MLG players and folks that are accustomed to not paying attention to their radar and just looking around. That would make sense, actually. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Probably. I guess because so. this is this is who that radar honest, is tailored to. It's tailored to the people that don't use radar, don't like radar, and play professionally. 
Yeah. Yeah. That makes and sense. I'll, In case I'll be anyone's, honest, I, I haven't even bothered trying to look at, rely on the radar th- too much this game, so that's why I can't. If case, in case anyone's watching this and they're not exactly sure what we mean, the radar radius was reduced to like what thirteen feet, something like, like that. 18. Eight, 13 or eighteen, one or the other. It was like thirty. I think it's thirteen in the beta. Yeah, but it was like thirty in in the beta, and now it's thirteen. It's it was cut in like more than half. Yes, and it, it doesn't tell you anything now. And remember, like when you say half, it's a, the radius. So that means. If you know, if you have something double that, that's a full circle around you of thirty-five feet, not just yeah. like thirty-five feet in diameter. Exactly. So when they cut yeah. it by half, they they've basically like eliminated more than I mean, even more than half. You look at the, like yes. how the circle lines up. They've yeah. So really, it's like it's like what like uh, almost three seven, quarters. I would say yeah, seven feet in front of you. That's all like all you can see. Literally, there was a guy standing in the same <laughs> room as me. Completely, I kid you not. Completely. We had no clue either of us were in the same room. Like, he was facing one end shooting at my team, and I was behind him facing the other end shooting at his team. <laughs> and I don't know how long we were doing it, but I turned around and I saw him, and I'm like, what? The radar did not even tell me he was there. He was in the same room as me. No, I think another thing that does terrible. not help is that it's not eye catching. Like, the red dots. They're muted now, so they don't catch your peripheral vision. Huh. Hmm. Like, have you noticed that? Like that? It, it, it doesn't help that the, the HUD is so busy, too, so even if the it HUD did... The HUD is pretty busy. And especially, yeah. I mean, when you zoom and you, all of this stuff keeps going in and out, you know, yeah. of all that. Yeah. So. yeah, I guess so, yeah. All that said, it is fairly minimal with uh, compared to how great the core gameplay actually is. Core gameplay is really nice. I, because, man, yeah, this... It feels so good to just run around like an actual superhuman. Ah, oh, the right. Unless one. you're playing free for all, in which case you're not really running as much as you are just lying Dying. on the floor yeah. dead. Uh, I like watching free for a all, but I've only played like two games, so I can't accurately say anything. Free for all used to be my favorite game type. In Same. in in Reach, it was like all I ever played. It was perfect. But now that three now that three four three is like botched the radar so horribly and, and the spawns in Halo Five as far as free for all it's concerned are so bad free for all is nigh unplayable it's it's it is just a cluster of n- n- like randomness random encounters you will not get it's it's so hard to actually win a game through pure skill yeah it's all random out of like it's, the, it's ridiculous out of like the uh, I want to say. Eight, I've played, I think I've won one game of free-for-all. I mean, Call of Duty called. They want their spawn system back. Yeah, the spawns are bad. Like, I, I didn't think Halo could be worse than COD, but here it is. The spawns in this are awful. Now, awful. Yeah. I can spawn... There was a moment... I was I was playing free-for-all right before this recording. There was a moment where there was a, literally a Spartan crouched in, in like, you know, um behind cover. He wasn't fighting anyone. He clearly, he had just killed someone... And then ran away and went to cover so his shields couldn't go back up. I spawned right behind him. Right behind him. Yep. <laughs> he's, just, he's right there. Complete, he was completely safe. All he needed to do was just wait a bit. Shields would have been, he would have been right back into the fight. But nope. I spawned right behind him and kill him. Amazing. Ridiculous. <laughs> Ridiculous. I've done that several times before to people and people have done that to me. It is awful. That's hilarious. Like, I, if I was that guy, I would have been so mad. He probably was. Yeah, it was, it was that was it. Spawns borked three for three. You need to you need to fix that. Hmm. Yeah. How do you guys feel about the gunplay? Oh, guns are great. pretty perfect. It's great. There's nothing I would change. The perfect, absolutely yeah, so perfect. So far, nothing has stuck out to me. Like, there's always been something that stuck out to me in the previous games. Halo Fours, for example. Bold, Bold shot. shot. <laughs> Ugh. Messo, don't you laugh? You took the bolt this shot. This game. Ugh. Go ahead. This game doesn't have a bolt shot case, <laughs> no. I guess I could call it, so far. Everything like, pretty I much seen works anything how it's expected to with uh, checks and balances for each particular gun. Some A couple things may even be underpowered. Nobody really knows yet because eh, it's still in the I, learning I, I think everything is powered right up to the, like, the one thing I've noticed is that the pistol is actually usable again. Yep. The pistol is a monster. <laughs> yeah. It, it's great. And the thing about it, though, is that it's perfect because the rate of fire is so slow that despite it being really powerful and have great range, it's hard to really rely on it too much. And when someone gets close enough to you, the pistol is completely useless. In close quarters combat, yeah. there is no reason to use it. You need to switch to the AR, which is also a beast when you are in close 
quarters combat. Oh yep. yeah, no, the AR is beautiful. In like this the game. start out, the the starting loadout, perfect. The AR and pistol combo, it's perfect in this game. Yeah, no, no, the, the, that's so- the assault <laughs> rifle in this game makes the one in Halo Three look like a freaking kid's Nerf gun. Oh no, the Halo Three pistol. <laughs> Was, no, uh, I was talking about the assault rifle, but the pistols. Both, both also of those guns are also awful in Halo Three. I mean, Halo Three, you know, I we played Master Chief Collection like you know before uh, Halo Five came out. We were playing some of the the playlists, uh, and Halo Three is just what I, happened. It, the I mean, worst. It, it used it to be revered. <laughs> it's yeah, I don't know why people be, like it. I don't know why people it's like so it. Slow. I see, it's so slow. It's like I it's see the, weighted down. Yeah. No, yeah, you are completely on, you on the mark like I, I see all these comments on NeoGAF where everyone's like, oh, I can't, I hope it's just like Halo 3, that was the best game. I'm like, what were you smoking? <laughs> Halo that 3. That game is awful. Halo 3 They're is awful. They're probably awful. just wearing nostalgia glasses because that was when Xbox Live was like they at, its, to be. Right. at its peak, you know? It was, uh, it was the new generation of consoles. Xbox Live's gotten a lot crazier. Oh my god, new Halo. Yeah, and at that uh, point when Halo 3 was big, there was no other Halo on that console to really compare it to back to exactly. back. Exactly. Right. Nowadays, we so have all of play, them on one console at like the touch People of a would button. all own like 360s and play nothing but Halo until Reach came out, and then they would compare. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, there the also two. wasn't any other multiplayer games that were really competitive. Like, that would, like, there was like, a, I think, a year of Halo 3 before COD 4 came out. <laughs> Wait, so, 2007? Honestly, I think, I think Modern Warfare 2007, came out in 2007, was it? 2007? Oh, yeah, no. Back then, people tried to compare Halo 3 to, like, Call of Duty or something, did, and that was... I think, yeah, yeah, did Halo I, 3 I th- come out I in 6? No, no, Modern Warfare uh, 1, I think, came out in 2007. Yeah, I believe they both came out in the same year. And the way we look at that now, we can definitely say that that sort of comparison is like comparing apples to oranges. Easy. But that was yeah. all they had back then. <laughs> so now new Halo right. comes out. Oh, it's not gonna. It's never gonna be as good as Halo Three. Halo Three was the best for 360. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe for like the first year or so that it was out until yeah. There's nothing else Halo. Plays. Um, just to just to like pull it back. Halo Three was released September 25th, 2007, and Modern Warfare Call of Duty Four was released November 5th, 2007. So and wait, then so we didn't there, get another months, Halo game months, until later. three years Jared, later. Okay. And I I believe that like I would assume that Halo Three was worked better with Xbox Live than Call of Duty Four when it launched. Presumably because Microsoft had all the options. Uh, I don't know. That. I, really I don't there. know honestly. I mean, I, mean COD, I wasn't there. COD I can't say run, personally. So, COD servers have never run poorly, as far as I'm aware, at least. Especially right, not servers like, may yeah. not have, but I have like a heck of a lot more lag than I do in Call. Like, I have a lot more lag in Call of Duty than I do in like Halo Five. Yeah, or no, Halo no. In it, general, it, it's for it's connection management is absolute absolute garbage. Now, back in the day, COD and Halo may not have been a apt comparison, but nowadays with COD trans. Uh, you know, going over to a more futuristic tone, they're very comparable. And Halo they're becoming get- a lot more competitive. Yeah, they're right, getting almost right. indistinguishable. Shields are the only thing present in Halo Ugh. that like, really makes me think this is not Call of Duty. <laughs> uh, Especially they mainly shields, Black yeah, gu- gunplay. The way the way you play the game in COD is completely different than in Halo. I think for me, yeah, so, like the idea of if getting that, if this was really the case, then why aren't you using better control schemes? Yeah, because like the, the thing in COD, the key to victory in COD is to be unseen. That's the thing about COD. Like you want to see your enemy before they see you. That's the whole point. That's how you win. Yeah. With Halo, it's not that. It's all skill based. You can see someone before they see you and still get killed. Yeah. You, it, like you could have a power weapon and see someone like a rocket launcher. And shoot at them first and still get killed. Yeah, the thing <laughs> is about Halo is that it offers a lot more options in how you play the game. Whereas Call yeah. of Duty, for the most part, I, I mean, I'm not going to like completely criticize the game. Because honestly, I haven't played it in a long time. But I, I would say for the most part, Call of Duty is mostly just running and gunning. <laughs> that is typically yeah, not staple. And the other thing is typically Halo is staple. But I'm noticing that even going away as the kill times get faster. Uh, like in Halo 5, a lot of my experience has been I see this guy first. I get one shot on him before he notices me, and there's nothing he can do because kill times are so quick. No, but that's only because you haven't missed a shot. Exactly. That's also the thing, yeah. Yeah, if he was able to turn around and fire at you, and you missed a single shot, you would have lost the fight. Right, right. It's all all skill I get reversals all the time in Halo. That's the nature of the shield. There's still a chance for him to to beat you. It's just the fact that you're good. And that is the nature of the shield. 
in terms of right. like with COD and when yeah, somebody shoots the, you the first, shield you have no shield, so you're just you're just gone. And also, I feel like there's more distinction in between the weapons in Halo. Like, I feel like each new weapon in Halo feels and like looks distinctly different. And then with well, yeah, they, they like, also have different roles, too. right? Exactly, they all have different roles and different things. You know, you go and look at stuff, stuff like the needler, stuff like you know the carbine, stuff like the DMR. They're all distinct, different weapons. And I feel in Call of Duty, a lot of the weapons are they're not exactly the same, but most of them have around the same finesse to them, and it depends on which in, one you in, like. In newer games, that's why loadouts certainly. work. You know that that yeah. does remind me though, if any of the guns in Halo Five would be considered weak, it would definitely be the carbine. Yeah, yeah, the carbine has. Uh, carbine is I really don't use kill time is fine, but well, by its very nature, because it's so like fast firing, you have to pump a lot of shots into the guys before they drop. The lack of aim assist makes it a little harder to use in comparison. Yeah, to yeah, the they're running. Yeah. yeah, the 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 thing about the carbine, the whole point of the carbine is that while the kill times are like slower than the other guns, the idea that you're pumping shots so rapidly it is what throws off your enemy yes. and causes them to miss you. So that's the idea behind the carbine is that your enemy has to it's going to miss you during the fight. However, if you're using a carbine against someone who's got really really good aim and doesn't freak out, <laughs> you're screwed. Then it's it's useless. <laughs> Should have brought back the needle rifle. I like that gun. Yeah, uh, I don't know exactly <laughs> how well the needle rifle would be incorporated into the sandbox. Yeah, we don't need the needle rifle. I, I feel like that would have been OP. <laughs> I've, the one weapon that I wish was back in Halo and just cuz I mean it just looks cool is the brute shot. It basically I, is. I disagree. One hundred percent disagree. I don't want the brute shot. The brute I shot. See, I, I love the brute shot, uh, but it wouldn't. You work. like everything. That's it wouldn't obnoxious. work in the sandbox yeah, he does. today because everybody's so fast, and the brute shot like it has a travel time. It Wait. fires so slow. Like the plasma caster is already tough to use, and that's the only comparable equivalent. I mean, that's listen, so. they can tweak it. It's like how they tweak the binary rifle, or. Yeah, the, yeah, is, is it is binary rifle. Pretty much all the, the Promethean talking. weapons. All the yeah. Promethean yeah. weapons have been tweaked yeah. a lot. No, no, light no. Rifle. Promethean weapons look this, uh, act the same way that they did in Halo 4, except for maybe the binary rifle. Yeah. Even the binary rifle is slightly different. It's not so much uh, bullet-based, so much as it is like a laser. Yeah, that that one's the oh. closest to its predecessor. You know what I noticed, uh, Meso? I, I think we mentioned this when we were playing the other day, like how the incineration cannon's different now. Yeah. It's actually not you if you if you fire it without aiming, then it's different. It's just like a rocket launcher with a weaker radius. But if you aim, like you aim down sights, it works exactly the same as it did in Halo Four. I know you can charge it up and it works the same as it did in Halo Four. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, f- fair enough. It charges. Yeah. yeah. That's different. It's cool. I like mm. that. More alternate modes of fire. Yeah. Also, I'm gonna yeah. say right now, like we were talking about free for all earlier and it couldn't couldn't help but think that man you know if you don't like free for all you can play another playlist no, you, yeah, you don't even have that many options now the playlists are very like, slim pickings at launch there's only five playlists uh, yeah. no not counting i feel Warzone. like uh i feel like this is uh at microsoft's fault personally yeah i th- I, th- I think that the release date was decided upon and they really needed to meet it because it's, you know, the big Microsoft exclusive. So I, I feel like, because I think that explains why Forge isn't finished and why we have so few maps, why we have so many few game modes as well. No BTB. <laughs> I, I think I here's assume... what I feel. I feel like I bought this game on Xbox Early Access. Yeah. That's what I feel. Yeah, I, I feel it, like a lot of the things that are, are going to be in it haven't been added just yet. Right. <laughs> okay, the core there, access, the core is there, the core is there, and you have, like, it's up. almost like an alpha of the game. You have the core gameplay, you have like several modes that everybody likes, you do well, have the campaign. Um, I, I mean, obviously it's meant to increase longevity as well. Yeah, I, I hate to break this illusion, but Frankie, Frank O'Connor, which is one of the developers for the Halo franchise, for those that do not know his name, has said that in specific, I don't know about like the maps and stuff, but BTB and Forge specifically and the game types have been delayed intentionally, obviously to finish them up, but the primary purpose is to, they're basically adopting a new business model with Halo 5 since DLC is free now, and they're trying to avoid the population drop-off that happened in Halo 4 by releasing periodic drops of content updates that are free. Yeah, but see, that, of course he says that. Yeah, of what course, do you think no, say? Oh, no, we screwed up. We just didn't have the game done in time. But you should no, totally no, no, buy well, it now. E- even even if he Hold did say on. that, those yeah. kind of decisions are still handled by the publisher. 
Also true. Well, yes, actually, Kai, it would be a lot easier to say we wanted to make the best product we could be, so we had to delay it to finish it, rather than specifically admit we're doing it to paste content. No, I don't think so. Not from the standpoint that Microsoft is. Microsoft wants to have this Halo you're, title you're released this year. Plain and simple. They've said that before when things have to the, be delayed. Of course, the company says it. The company's not going to release something that sounds contrary. Microsoft needs Halo 5 to sell. They're not going to do anything that takes away from Halo 5's longevity. Right. Now, granted, especially Halo 5. This is right. once again, this is Microsoft's big title. This yeah, is for the this big game. title for them. They they can't delay it. I don't even, I, I even don't if buy it was. It. I don't buy it, no. Listen, I'm not saying that I like it's an added benefit that uh, it might add no, longevity. I, I mean, the same thing saying. happened to Unity, and right. that wasn't even that big of a title. I understand. What I think saying. it's a new business model, and that it's an intentional now, decision. Speaking I of that, I, I think it's a business I, I'm not saying it's an intention for a problem. Right, yeah. exactly. The game exactly. That problem being the low population drop off in Halo no, the 4. Problem no, the being problem that being the game wasn't going to be finished in time. I don't right. I don't think that's I don't think these are mutually exclusive. They're both hand in hand. I right. think they're like, "Oh man, I don't think guys, I don't think we're going to get this game done in time. What should we do about it? Should we just like do these random updates? Should we should we delay the game? No, we can't delay the game. Microsoft's going to get all mad, man. We, we got to come up with some Yeah. We got it. Personally, I don't think it makes a lot of sense to to keep BTB and Forge out of the, out of the game, staples of the franchise. For BTB, it makes perfect sense because they want to incentivize the microtransactions with Warzone. If everybody could play a vehicle mode where they don't have to spend money, people would just do that. But they don't Which have that option to the microtransactions towards Warzone, models, so stupid. they buy microtransactions. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and they get I mean, suckered like, into the pack concept. Listen, those, the Forge, you're not going yeah, to, you're not, you're not like, the solu- if the solution is you don't have microtransactions. It's like, well, if we took out BTB. Microtransactions. Okay, you know, fine. <laughs> microtransactions. Right. I made that one of the mess, mess up. But the idea is that, like, the solution for, oh, why isn't a big team battle? Is it, well, if you didn't have big team battle, you guys wouldn't have these microtransactions. You can take them back. No, you, you can have microtransactions. We'll take big team battle. And that's not DLC. that's not an exchange I'm willing to. The microtransactions no, no, are the reason we have free DLC. Would you exchange that? What? The microtransactions are the reason we have free DLC. Would you exchange that? And that's not like a jab. It's a serious question. This is what it's going to come down to. What matters more, free maps or quality content at launch and paid maps? And that's all up to the individual's perspective. But well, I'll free, say this right it, now. it depends on how, the how they're, they're, yeah, it depends on how intrusive the microtransactions are. Personally, for Halo Five, they've done a great job with I feel keeping it. Yeah, it fair. It's, it's mostly fair, except for the it's, fact it, that the it's packs practically all armor. cosmetic. The, the thing that the yep. thing that I get is that the packs give you maybe one piece of armor if you get a gold pack, and I'm maybe. like, I, 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 you have to save up a lot to get those. Oh and yeah, I mean, can I just like say I'm games. super disappointed with the, how you uh you get armor in this game. I yeah. wanted I'm it not to be disappointed. It's just too hard. I wanted it, it to be challenge based. It's ridiculous how you have to rely on like some random chance to get it. Right. I just, of, like, I just wish. I just wish the chance somehow. was a bit higher. What, yeah. what were you saying, Elder? Oh no! It's like these rec packs. Buying them, uh, I. It's a great idea, and uh, Mass Effect Three did that so that they could have free DLC, and it really, really worked. And I'm sure it's going to work yeah. here. I bought a couple of those. And have you really? You yep. bought it with legit money. It, it, don't nope. worry. Yeah, I bought one. I bought yeah. one as well. But and how many did you buy? Two. Elder bought two. LJ, remind on, me wait, to strain. Wait, 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 wait. Should the, one, the, one, the ones you buy with cash, at least from what I've observed, maybe I'm just lucky, give you a much higher chance at getting actual armor than any. You're just lucky. Else. I bought one, no armor. Okay, in that case, I'm just lucky. But yeah, <sighs> I I that that's my issue. I right. wish you were, you were guaranteed to have at least one piece of exactly. Armor. Right. There's no exactly. guarantee of yeah. getting I, I armor. Got, I got two. At, at least one piece of armor. There should be at least one piece. At least a visor. At right. Least. Come on. Yeah. Every every yeah, single time. At least time. before, like say in Reach, you had sure they still force you to play the game like a crap load in order to get the armor that you wanted. But at least there was a guarantee. Right. At least you knew how much you had to play the game to get it. <laughs> With this, we don't know. Yeah, Maybe we have to play the game a lot to get a certain amount of points to afford all these. Maybe you'll packs. never get the piece of armor you're gonna, you it's want. It's just right. like exactly. Destiny, and I hate that. But the hey, thing about Destiny is that Destiny, 
Destiny has but a Destiny, higher you, chance of getting armor. Yeah, like you can guarantee you're going to get a piece of armor every game session. I can play 10 arena matches and I'll Maybe have one, one enough for want, one gold pack. Armor, and I might not, not get yeah, it. might not be good All armor. of it might you just might be stuff it. to do stuff I want to do, like to do, have things to do in Warzone. That's going to be the majority. I play 10 arena matches. I get stuff to do in Warzone. I never multiplayer thing that I don't really want to do right now. I just want to have my Spartan looking good. My Spartan is terrible right now. My Spartan <laughs> is like, I hate my Spartan right now. It's made of, out of all the freaking armors and just helmets. Because I, you're I not didn't creative. Want. No. Get creative. <laughs> anyway. Dude, if we I have... could freaking draw my armor, I would draw my armor on top of my Spartan. I would do like a little sticky note and draw. Like a, a <laughs> crappy piece of armor to put on my Spartan rather than what, whatever I have now. It's you know what's kind of funny though? What? Mm, character customization is almost superfluous in this game because at what point will, is anyone ever going to see your colors? <laughs> free for all! It's oh, only yeah, free right. for all. Only one game type in the whole game will anyone parties. ever see it. Yeah, and you can't play with parties. That- and you can't, I mean, like with Reach, it made sense because you could play campaign and have your Spartan there. Here, you can't, so. Oh, yeah, and then Reach also had infection and. Yep. Other, Halo 4 also <laughs> had Spartan Ops where your custom ca- character could yep. show up. Halo 5 doesn't. None of that's here. Free for all only. Yeah, it's almost it's it, almost pointless. I Man, like I hate Warzone, how limited for this Warzone launch they was. Should, I mean, like, I don't feel your characters all need to be a certain color now. Uh, Meso, you pointed out, like, we had this discussion earlier, that uh, Destiny does it just fine. De- Destiny, you don't have team colors. And it. I can tell who's on the opposite team pretty much fine. So, maybe not for everything, maybe just for Warzone... I think it should just be an option that you give the the game to just be like, oh yeah, you know, switch off team colors. Yeah, but I wouldn't really be. See, the thing with team team colors is that it's hard to balance that because anyone can be any color they want to be. And I wouldn't really use Destiny as a good comparison for balanced multiplayer competitive <laughs> gameplay. Fair enough. Yeah, but Destiny I don't know. also has that look. I don't know what to call it really. It's a banner that shows their health bar. And it's like above their heads whenever you move around, and that's how you determine who's on the opposite team or not. Yeah, Halo, Halo could not, does not have, have that, that because that would like mess with hitbox detection and stuff. Yep, yeah, that would also screw up a lot of the ga- actual gameplay itself too. Yeah, I not mean, knowing exactly. how close your enemy is to death, so it's kind. Of, no, I mean, fair enough. Though I, I get where you're coming from with that. Um, and I, I guess while we're talking about problems with Warzone, I do want to mention real quick the whole frame rate issue that we were talking that we were going over. We had one frame of the main debates we had recently was split screen and like how that was affected. And basically, the idea was that they had to give up split screen in order to have 60 FPS across the board and to have a consistent 60 FPS uh, experience for the player, which is freaking great. Except it doesn't it doesn't look like it for a lot of the enemy animations, which are in 30 FPS. And that's uh, really noticeable. Like, if you I see, mean, visually it's noticeable, but that doesn't actually affect or hinder the gameplay. I'm not it's saying, only, yeah, right. It, it's, it's just weird looking. F- FPS, I mean, okay, fair. I guess FPS is kind of tweak the gameplay a like, little bit. But yeah, the FPS is all actual gameplay. That's what it, matters. That's why, that's why people care about the FPS. I yeah, don't uh, it's not the animations. As silly as they look, because I even notice it on Spartan sometimes. Like, when we're in the campaign yeah, I and I see you guys, like, running up ahead, sometimes I, <laughs> I notice when you guys are running, it looks all choppy. It looks right, like it looks like you're out of record uh... <laughs> Yeah, no, it, it, it does. It looks like it looks like a sprite animation or right. something. Yeah. It's weird. I've yet to notice but, that, and I'm glad that like I haven't. Some because sort of once Captain I do, Underpants flipperama. <laughs> no, you'll notice it everywhere, mess up. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know. How, it, it looks like it looks like a bad stop motion. Animal. I'm almost right. trying not to notice <laughs> yeah. it. Like subconsciously, I don't want to. I see can't that. notice it. <clears throat> it's like it, it's like if you see a oh, stop motion up, okay. where you you know they didn't take enough frames, like enough pictures. Right. It, it, it's a really choppy yeah. animation. That's what it looks like. Yeah. It, it's 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 it, it's not bad it's not it doesn't hinder anything it doesn't really detract from the experience at all and to be honest i was able to just kind of ignore it entirely while playing campaign but it is noticeable when you see it you see it right so um, but um, i do i don't i don't think it's that big, big of a deal though i i understand they had to cut corners to get the uh, 60 fps so i would corners. prefer they did that over trying to make it look like a pretty Awesome I'll give you that. and sure. beautiful yeah. game, and then have it not run at sixty. Because I, the I used to not care about sixty FPS, and then I experienced it with the MCC, and I could never go back. I go back to yeah, Reach, I and it wants to make it, like it makes my head hurt. I actually went back to Halo Four a couple of days ago because I was playing with my friends um, on the three sixty, and it's it's unplayable. I, I can't play it. Wow. It's awful. I, oh, I can't man. stand. Yeah, no, I felt I the same way when it. I went back to Destiny. 
Destiny, Destiny is weird because I have the mental association. Headache. Like, Destiny just runs at 30, and that's just how it is. And, like, it's you a different know, kind of game than Halo, so it's not a similar adapting to me. Halo's the only thing besides Call of Duty, which I associate with 60 FPS. Now well, I gotta wonder, where you they're, really they're bringing it. Reach over for backwards compatibility to the one. I wonder if yeah. they're gonna update that 60. and make uh, it. It's, it's, so. it's not. It's, it's not. It's backwards it's gonna be compatibility. They, yeah, you, you it's, can't, not, it's not updated. Right. They're, they're not so, updating anything on the game end. They're just updating the Xbox with the ability to read Xbox 360 games. Yeah. yeah. If, they, if they ever update Reach, it'll be in 2019 when they do Reach Anniversary. <laughs> they're Maybe. not going to do Reach Anniversary. They probably will. Happening. It may not be beloved, no, but it's a, free, it's a free release. They can dial in for a year to make money no. and have to do, like, no work. I would do it if I was well, 3.3. I mean, optimiza- like, optimization of the engine is kind of a bit of work. <laughs> so... I mean, well, speaking of Halo 4 experiences, right, we had one really good one right before we went over Halo 5. We, we won, I think, I don't one know if it was our first, first CTF but games. I think it was one of our first. This, no, this that, huge it was, CTF it was literally, game. CTF was the worst game type in Halo 4 for us. We, we, throughout the history of playing Halo 4, I, at least, have never won a single game of CTF. I think I won ever. one on Ragnarok once. Yeah. I won won, that, that game came out in 2012, right? That's three years. Three years of playing a game. <laughs> I, Never a, a not a single game of CTF I've ever won. <laughs> the smaller maps are better for me. Like Skyline, I've won one or two on that. But the big maps, I always lose. I'm always I, I'm always I'm always on the losing team. For yeah. I don't know. Do I don't think map. it's like un, I guess it's unbalanced. I guess, but I don't know. We got it Regardless, together. Like, and we, uh, won it. we were like trying to beat it before the, it launched. At midnight. I, I remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, we played like, we played a final game of CTF right. before. Like it was like twenty minutes before Halo Five launched. Right. Yeah. It was great. Best game of my life. <laughs> no, it was so fun. Of course, we it started. Stigma, it followed us over into Halo Five. We played the worst one of them, Team Arena. Gosh, that is just a, oh, okay. That is a mess game. Uh, that, that, t- it, it was pretty hard to go from like just completely mm-hmm. dominating in Halo Four to getting wrecked left and right. In Halo I mean, 5. it's like oh, I'm man, only just yeah. now starting to figure out how the game works in Team Slayer. Team Arena is just a cluster. Of these different yeah. objective game types that they could have just made a, something called Action Sack or or Team Objective or something like that. Right. It's just, it's weird. <laughs> for me, it's not. But for me, I, like, I've had the best experience. Yeah, I don't know going, what's going on with you, Kyle. For, from Halo 4 to Halo 5, I'm, I'm probably outside of, like, maybe Viper. Sorry, Viper. Outside of Viper, I think I'm the worst Halo player in this group. Easily. And, <laughs> and easily. In Halo 5, I've gotten way better. Consistently. I am consistently, I'm yeah. getting like maybe second. I'm not getting first place. Maybe regardless, like maybe second, regardless third place. Regardless of what place you have, you hang with everybody else and it's not like a massive discrepancy. So. Right. That's it's good. You know, it, it, so this, I, I understand like in my head what you guys are saying of like how different it is and I, I feel the pacing difference. How, but it's just worked out for me. I've done way better in this than any other Halo, you know, going forward. In, in like Halo 4, if me and LJ had a 1v1, it's usually like he wins about maybe 14 to 2. Oh, easy. And this one we had, and this one we had, it was like, you know, 5 to 6. I was, <coughs> the gap has been close for me. I don't know I mean, what it is about this Halo or I've like train the timing. More. Yeah. I think I think it's I think it's because the game puts more control in your hands. Before Possibly. It, it it was trying so hard to make you better at the game than you actually were that it actually did the opposite of it and it made it harder to play. Because now the aim assist has been turned right. down so much, it's like it's so much easier to aim. And also, in like Halo 4, <laughs> you rely so much on other stuff. They make you rely on loadouts, yeah. and they make you rely on armor abilities, and all this stuff. In this game, you have a preset amount of tools. Use them however you will to win. No right. gimmicks, just now, skill. Now, real quick, um, since we're going to be ending really soon, two questions. Go for One, it. One, opinions on Warzone, if you could sum it up really easily. Great. I need to play it more. I think I really, really enjoyed what we did play. The Warzone Assault was trash. I don't want to play that ever again. But Warzone itself seemed like a lot of fun. For me, so, I, I like, like Warzone. I think the maps are a little too big and there's too much running around uh, because there's a lot of empty space. Uh, and I don't like how your service tags are invisible when you're a certain distance away from your teammates. So I can't plan mm-hmm. how to engage an encounter until I'm like right up there in the encounter to see where my teammates are. But other than I feel that, like I the like maps it. being. I feel like the map being too big thing might have to do with the spawning. But uh, other than that, yeah, spawning yeah, is a little tough. What do you uh, think about Warzone, Kai? Uh, I, yeah, I was gonna say. Personally, I feel like the Warzone's really fun. 
and I want to play it a bit more. I've all, I have lost about the last three matches, three or four matches. I've been on the losing team for four of them. And it's like kind of weighed down when I think of Warzone. I like, I kind of don't want to play it because I'm like, I associate that losing thing with it. But I feel like we haven't all been in a Warzone match since the thing launched like a day ago. Uh, but I feel like if we are all in this thing, we wow, can reverse each other. Day, it's yeah. much better. I've played it by myself. I didn't enjoy it as much as I did. Uh, I feel like that whole camaraderie of being able to communicate helps a lot more in Warzone. And I feel like I'll probably get like a mic or something to talk with people in uh, Halo 5 uh, mm. if I continue to play that by myself. So And LJ? Oh, I don't like the cards. Cards are stupid. I enjoy it. I think it's a neat uh, option. And I'm glad it's there because otherwise I'd have nothing BTB-esque to play. But it's not a replacement for BTB. Absolutely God, not. It- no, I can't wait for BTB personally. But I like it. I like it as an option. But I would never play it hardcore. Yeah, I just mm-hmm. it, it's too. Uh, yeah, I agree. It's too empty right now. I think it's the most casual of of. Yeah, easily. it's. Ca- it feels like a. It feels like a gimmick, really. More I don't think so. I don't think it feels like a gimmick. Mode. I just. It, but it, it's definitely different. It's. I think it's aimed more towards the poor people who bought this game thinking <laughs> that it'll be a lot of fun, not realizing it's so competitive, and then you're just mm. getting wrecked in arena. I, think yeah, it's for I don't know. I go into it and it just doesn't. Uh, it it doesn't feel all that appealing, really. I'm also, running around. Think, I'm getting killed left and right. Random. Yeah, I mean, you do. It's a large stuff. open space. You get like you can get like third party pretty easily. Yeah, you just have to I don't know. My stick my war zone experience hasn't exactly been the best. Now the other game mode, I haven't it, played it that much. So yeah. my it, if on you that. really like battle Battlefield, you'll love it. If you like. Dota or uh, League of Legends, you might enjoy aspects of it. So oh. there's the bosses. That's kind of cool. The yeah, there's, there's bosses and the cool. NPCs, and, and the overall gameplay is very MOBA. Right. So, mm. and that'll lead into my second question: Would you guys recommend buying this game like right now? Yeah. Yeah. If you, if you want a good multiplayer game, definitely. If you don't mind you getting for. wrecked and having to have a steep learning curve while you learn a game, but still want to have fun, yes. If you, Halo well, 5 okay. is an interesting game. Once you master it and the tools it has available to you, you really start to appreciate things. But I can imagine, like, also, if you're not good at FPS games, you may buy this game and be like, so what do I do? There's five playlists, yeah. and they're all, all right. super hyper-competitive. And like, and also, I'll, I'll add to that. I want to add to that, that if you also don't mind waiting for a bit of variety to come in later on when they update the game, then yeah, totally do it. Another thing is that keep in mind that the f- it's really, really hard right now. If you get the game right now and you play it for the first time, you're going to notice it's really hard. It will get easier because the first six games you are unranked. Ten games. So you're I, go- thought, I think it's no, ten. Six. It's six. From what I heard, it was all it ten? ten of your it's qualifying it's ten. matches. I'm pretty sure it's until, until, yeah, until, okay, the game, until the game ranks you, you can't be ranked with other people. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's ten. Okay, fine. Okay, cool. Ten. First ten games you play are going to be really, really hard because you're unranked with anybody. So you're basically playing with complete randomization. You will either get games where you're with really, really easy to kill people who don't know what they're doing, or you're going to be playing with people who are like pros. And it'll be really frustrating and really inconsistent. After those ten games, it'll be smooth sailing. You'll get ranked with people um, with equal skill level as you. Yep. Yeah. Also, keep in mind that right now, the only people actually playing the game are all the people that got it day one. Right, meaning, the dedicated Halo Meaning fans. all the people, yeah, all the people who love Halo. So all the people who are going to yeah. be good at the game. Right. If you wait until Christmas to get it, you'll be good. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm excited yeah, to get the yeah, experience. Really. You see the Christmas noobs, you know? For the first time in my life, I can actually be like, oh, even like when I when I played Halo 4 for a while, Christmas Eve is just, yeah, I got wrecked anyways. That's actually yeah. a good point. So if you if you're nice. looking for if you like don't want to get it right now because it doesn't have as much content, if you want to wait till Christmas, that may be a good idea because by then they'll probably have the first free DLC release. They'll probably have more game modes out. Forge will be out. Right. About yeah. Forge free might update. be at a more reasonable price too because the, I don't think this is a sixty dollar game. Yeah, I, I, do. Do. This I, is I, I value you it. You pay as, but sixty dollars for. So. What's coming in the future? It's like Minecraft. You buy it early and you buy it for all the updates that are going to come in later on. I mean, so, yeah, no. With free. that said, sure, I guess you can argue with the content that comes later. It's gonna, it's definitely gonna be worth your money. But right. 
I think it's an eighty dollar game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm honestly considering spending that twenty four dollars for that rec pack. Oh, so. my, oh my god! Wow, wow. Well, I spent that's six. Don't do it. You're spend twenty four. This is this is what you have really have to approach it as if you're looking to buy this game. If you are a Halo fan, this is a must play. A fun right. four yeah, player co op campaign. If you're going to play this for the long run, arena. if you're in this for the long haul. Get it. If you're not, if you're a casual FPS player or gamer looking for a fun game for the hardcore gaming season slash holiday season, this is good and it's fun and it's good quality. From a value perspective, objectively, I have to look at this and I have to compare it to Titanfall, which also had also like, true. playlists at launch yeah. and also had an, a- an yeah. AI-based kind of gimmick-esque thing. Halo 5 has two things better than Titanfall that make it a bigger value. An excellent four-player co-op campaign and Warzone. But if those things don't interest you, or if you want to put value in those things independently, that is your decision to make on your own merits. So appropriate but, accordingly. All right, for, let's, for, uh, for like casuals, I would let's probably wrap say up. this is a thirty-dollar game at best. But anyway, R- real yep. fast. Not you, yeah. <laughs> Two things. Uh, Frank O'Connor, <laughs> after the broken launch of MCC. Uh, he said that Guardians won't be broken at launch. That was true. They that was true. To yeah. that. This game was a flawless launch. The servers not flawless. Not flawless. The servers did go down like maybe twenty minutes ago for me. So yeah, it, uh, well, it, 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 the servers are actually down as we speak. But um, oh, really? Okay, okay, and, okay. In that case, I'll, re- I'll rephrase. It wasn't broken. It's, it just suffered launch day stress. It's yeah, yeah. It's flawless compared to MCC. Yes, that's definitely true. It's really good, but not false. Okay. Um, another thing is we're not really talking about campaign so much this episode. We will be talking about campaign next week right. if anyone's interested in that. Spoiler. Time. So, we'll, yeah. And uh, but they, now we can wrap up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Out, of, out of five stars, by the way, four. No, let's not do star ranking yeah, right we're, now. We're we'll, not, do that. we'll do that next. Seven point nine one no, two out of ten. Stop! Did you just, stop! Did you just okay, not hear then take. That was a joke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Be quiet. Shut up die in halo all right well that's the end of it thank you all for watching be sure to check us out on vessel if you're not watching this on vessel already you probably should be um ttv podcast um board.ttvpodcast.com for message boards uh <laughs> all that other good stuff Audible, like that's a thing right vessel.com slash the ttv channel to go and watch this episode a little early if you're wanting to hear our thoughts and campaign and you're on youtube their t- thoughts and campaign already up at vessel.com slash the TTV channel. Thanks for taking the words out of my mouth. Anyway, I'm Venom. I'm Messina. I'm Bar. I'm LJ. I'm Kahi. This has been TTV Talks. Thank you again for watching. See you all See next time. See you later, guys. Goodbye. See ya.